Hello, Mixmo people. All right, I'll show you how to get your Mixmo animation packs into Unity using the release version of Unity, which right now it's Unity 521. All right, so let's start by making a new project. Mixmo demo number three. So first place we wanna go is gonna be the Mixmo store on the web. Okay, and you're gonna go to the Mixmo page. You wanna log in. If you don't have an Adobe account, you're going to want to create an Adobe account and then log in with your Adobe account. And then currently, all the animation and characters are free to download, free to add to your account for a limited time. So you want to act on that pretty soon. Okay, so the next place you want to go after logging in is the store. And the first thing you want to do is go to the characters, and you want to add all these characters to your account. So you'll click on the character, and you'll say, add to my assets. That's your first step. And then the next step, you probably want to go to the store. And then in this case, I was doing some the pro rifle pack. So you click on the pack animation pack that you want. And then I want a different character. I had uploaded a bunch of characters, including fuse characters. So let's do a fuse model. That guy, great. All right, and then you want to click customize pack. And you kind of have to follow it in this specific order to get the download to work. So we're going to name this guy. I want to call it, have the name match the name of the pack. So this would be Pro Rifle Pack so that we'll be able to see it in the animation in our assets. So, okay, so this is the Pro Rifle Pack. And then just click the gears, save that. Now that I've saved the pack, now I want to go to View Download. And there's the pack there. And on this specific screen, you'll see that my animations is highlighted. If it's on my character and you queue the download, it's just gonna download the character. But since it's on my animations, and because I named the animation pack when I saved it, and it has, well, sometimes here it'll say recent animations or whatever. But I know that this is the pack that I just named. And since it's selected, I wanna hit queue download. And here I want to pick the format as FBX for Unity, 30 frames a second, T-Pose is fine, none, and cue the download. And this is going to add it to my assets. The important thing here is that it's going to process for a little bit, and then I'm going to be able to download a zip file. And the important thing about the zip file is it says animation pack here instead of character. So I know it's going to have the FBX model and all the animations in it. And it finishes pretty fast, as long as you do it in that order of things. Okay, so then we're gonna hit download, and I wanna save it to Mixmo demo number three. Assets, just create a folder for models. Okay, so this will save it in my Unity project. And this is a Fuse Soldier with hat. Okay, cool. So I'll save the zip file. It goes pretty fast. And now we can switch over to Unity, expand models, and then there's the zip file we just downloaded. I want to show it in Explorer and unzip it with 7-zip because that's fast. So that'll extract it to a folder and it'll be called Fuse Model, but since it's since I named it Fuse Soldier with Hat, it'll be in that subfolder and it'll be easy to find. We can put our animator controller in there. All right, so when I switch back to Unity, it's doing all this importing and just fix it and it'll fix the normal maps to have the right type on those textures. And then if we expand it, you'll see we have the Fuse model, which is the FBX, and then all these other animations that we can use in the Mechanism State Machine. All right, so another thing I'm gonna need in the few soldier with hat folder is if I right click and create a animator controller. Okay, so this will be the fuse soldier with with hat. And I didn't mean to add all these spaces here. So fuse soldier with hat animator controller spaces are fine. So now we have Fuse Soldier with Hat, Animator Controller. Now I can scroll up and find the Fuse model that was imported and drag this to the scene. Okay. And we need to set the controller field. 
So I'll drag the Peace Soldier with Hat animator controller to that spot. And now we can use the states that we've downloaded. So here we go. I'll set up an idle animation to start with. And then he'll do some crouch aiming. Then he'll run forward and sprint back. Click on the idle animation, right click, make transition. He'll go to the crouch aiming, right click, make transition, and he'll go, he'll run forward. And he'll go from forward to make transition, sprint backwards, and then make transition and go back to idle. All right, and now if we hit play, we should see him running around. All right, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna stop this and zoom the scene camera in a little bit. Click on the camera, and I'll just say game object, align with view, and that'll make the camera match what the view sees here. And now I'll hit play. Okay, we can see him idle. And it crouches and aims, runs forward, goes back, goes back to idle. Cool. All right, so you can see here, you can get your Mixmo animation packs into Unity if you just follow those specific steps. And when you follow those specific steps, you can see that it'll download a zip file and that'll contain the FBX file of the model. And with all those animations, you can use them in the mechanism states. And this will work in the released version of Unity, which I'm using 5.2.1 here. All right, well, good luck, go animate, and thanks for watching.